After nine long hours on a ferry from Athens, I arrived in Amorcos, one of the most beautiful destinations I've ever been, and I've been fortunate enough to visit twice. The hotel that we stayed in was beautiful. It was a nice resort. My room actually had two TVs. The balcony had beautiful views. Breathtaking. Captivating. This is where I emptied my thoughts while I was here. I didn't pack much, I had to carry on in a duffel bag. This is what I came with and this is what I left with. I took advantage of the balcony for some photo opportunities, but I spent most of my time here to think. This trip was a struggle for me personally, from mentally feeling lonely to physically eating lush meals, all I could eat, and ending with stomach shambles. <laughs> We also had long walks. It was a very long hike to the yoga shala in the heat in the morning after late nights of dinner. We did yoga. This section of yoga that we did was an introduction where everyone went over their favorite yoga moves and we tried to remember each other in sequence. It was very hot in this room. This portion of the yoga flow was very interesting because it actually ended up going together everybody else's poses. Here in this handstand was the first sign of my struggle internally. My position wasn't the best. I went into it springing off the memory of what I knew before, but I did not set myself up for success. My foundation was weak. My arms were apart, but soon enough my faith could be restored as I visited the 1000 year old monastery for the second time in my life. This beautiful place is lovely to enter, feeling peace immediately. A lot of relics of the past here. After a long day of touring the island, we got some ice cream. I believe I got pistachio in one other plain flavor, but I enjoyed this ice cream so much. One of the persons on the trip was nice enough to get some footage of me. I was just happy that I could capture this moment. The ice cream was really good. So many goats.
in so many long walks pondering concepts of grace, love, peace, understanding, trying to figure out where I am in life because so much has changed, yet so much feels unchanged. So we are going down to the long journey on these ducks. Oh, super long. So down to the beach we go. This journey going down to the beach cove was lengthy. The steps, challenging. The heat, vigorous. I don't know what else to say, but it's so worth the journey. I don't have to worry about if I can swim. I don't have to worry about if I can live. Water is so calming. It calms my spirit. I took a trip to a separate place on a journey to understand myself. More healing. And I've came back lighter. And we were fortunate enough to be blessed with some live music. This boat ride was different for me. Still struggles with my stomach this time around. However, it was different because I've been sober this year. I haven't been drinking alcohol. So it wasn't a turn up. It was a turn down. It was an unwind. There's a cute little cafe on the island where you can get ice cream and crepes and coffee, avocados, all of those things. I didn't get much coffee because I can't tolerate it for real, but it was nice to just pretend to be this dress. <laughs> Here's a little fashion show. This moment was my breakthrough moment. Coming up to this trip, I've realized that I stored so much trauma in my body. I won't share all my struggles, but I will tell you this. The body keeps the score. That much is true. I had a lot of issues with my shoulder before coming onto this trip. And I had to slow down a lot on my yoga journey. However, because of the exercises and warm-ups that we did for the asanas and the emotional releasing I was able to do on the balcony and at little parts of the islands, I eventually was able to gather my strength and do Marinasana, peacock pose. This is a pose that I stumbled into going in a chin stand, but I found my strength in yoga here. And I still have that strength within.
also on this trip, I had the opportunity to not only teach someone, but spend time with new people. Although the time was limited because I was in my own head, I'm still thankful I was able to arrive. Lift up. Okay. Yes, we 